Hello friends, this is Durga again from Technology Mentor slash ITVersity. I run a channel called uh, uh, ITVersity and there are many playlists um, uh, uh, in the YouTube. There are around 240 videos and, uh, there, and there are playlists on several topics. Predominantly on Hadoop and Big Data as of now, but it has some content on Cloud also. So as part of my channel, I, I want to create a new playlist called Plain Vanilla Hadoop single node setup and development so uh, typically i pre i recommend people to use uh, a 16 gb laptop and uh, uh, download the cloudera vm hortonworks vm uh, and uh, directly use that for the development effort and for administration i recommend to either use aws or build a three node or four node cluster using uh, virtual machines on the pc so that they they get uh, their hands on uh, on the implementation part uh, with the limited resources they have but uh, lately i a lot of college students uh, especially from developing countries like india algeria etc are subscribing to my channel and started watching the channel they cannot afford a expensive laptop uh, which is of 16 gb configuration they typically have 4 gb to 8 gb and uh, using uh, uh, cloud era quick start vm or hotworks sandbox on a 4 to 8 gb laptop is not uh, very productive it is actually counterproductive you, even though you can do that by tweaking certain th things on your laptop you will keep on running into issues uh, um, which will eat up your time uh, on working on those issues rather than working on uh, the more important stuff in uh, Hadoop, which is MapReduce, application development, or the administration. So for administration, we cannot help much. Uh, we can only, uh, means all the enterprises use this distribution. Most of the enterprises use this distribution like Cloud or Hotworks. In the worst case, they use the uh, Puppet or Chef DevOps tools to set up the clusters. But for development purpose, um, candidates from student community, they can leverage their 4 GB to 8 GB laptop, uh, create a virtual machine on them, and then, uh, uh, and then uh, set up Hadoop. And uh, develop MapReduce programs using their Eclipse and uh, one can run the MapReduce programs on the plain vanilla Hadoop which is on a VM. That way it uh, consumes a lot lesser resources uh, because uh, your VM will have bare minimal OS and then uh, only those components that are required to run your MapReduce program. There won't be any monitoring tools like Ambari or Cloudera Manager on that. Just Hadoop and if you want you can add more and more tools uh, and uh, start exploring that and also another advantage of taking that route is you will actually get into the internals of it so as a student if you know internals of it you can excel in your job uh, later so that being said this playlist primarily covers uh, how to set up the virtual machine and uh, how to uh, download and install Hadoop core components to begin with and then uh, what are the necessary things uh, that are required to use it effectively um, but it does not cover MapReduce application development in detail. If you want to understand uh, MapReduce application development or Hadoop di uh, distribution uh, sorry Hadoop administration you can go to the playlist and there is a 54 video uh, playlist as of now it will in, uh, still there could be around 20 more videos so uh, it is almost like 20-25 uh, uh, hour content um, you can go through this and you can start exploring Hadoop wherever I talk about um, uh, sandbox or cluster you uh, you can uh, refer it to your plain vanilla Hadoop system for example I sometimes uh, uh, copy the programs to the cluster, typically a Hortonworks sandbox or a Cloudera, sandbox, uh, Cloudera quick start. So in those scenarios, you just have to copy the code to uh, your plain vanilla Hadoop cluster which will be created by following this playlist. And uh, then you can run it. So 
so it it this playlist is not uh, to teach you uh, how to map reduce development or how to administration this playlist is to use a plain vanilla uh, uh, hadoop on a vm uh, without uh, uh, taking a lot of resources on your laptop and still explore the map reduce uh, uh, from the development perspective more than anything else that being said i hope you will be enjoying the content uh, on the uh, of this playlist if you like uh, please click on the like button if you want to comment or provide any feedback or ask any technical questions please leverage the comment section of the video and if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so this plain vanilla approach which i'm taking uh, in uh, as part of this playlist can be used for many other technologies which will be covering um, over time thank you bye